Hello people and welcome to the first video of my Super Weekend Marathon. This video we are looking at numbers 200 to 191 as I begin the weekend okay with an enormous push to head into the top 100 or roughly get to the top 100. So let us start this video okay 10 more fighters okay let us jump to the fighter in 200th place and see who is the first in the top 200 and it is former minimum and light flyweight champion El Finito Ricardo Lopez. Ricardo Lopez beat nine world champions in his career. Ricardo Lopez had 10 fights against world champions overall. And Ricardo Lopez um, comes in with a total of 26 world title fights. Ricardo Lopez made 24 title defences, um, an incredible number really. And one at highest numbers of the modern era. Ricardo Lopez had seven fights against top 10 rated fighters. He had five fights against top three rated fighters. And Ricardo Lopez had zero fights against ring champions. Obviously, he was hurt by the advent of the strawweight ratings, which came in um, quite late compared to the other divisions. Uh, otherwise, those numbers would have been higher. So Ricardo Lopez was top 10 rated for four years. He was top three rated for four years. And Ricardo Lopez was a ring champion for zero years. And against pound pound rated fighters, this outstanding um, lower weight technician, okay, had one fight against a pound pound rated fighter. And Ricardo Lopez beat individually one pound pound rated fighter. So, many people comparing to Floyd Mayweather, I don't think that comparison holds weight. Um, Ricardo Lopez had a good resume, but his resume cannot match Floyd Mayweather Jr.'s. So, let us leave him there. Let us go to fight at 199 to former light middleweight champion Ralph Dupa or Dupas, however you wish to pronounce it. Ralph Dupa beat four world champions in his career. He had a total of 12 fights against world champions overall. And he comes in with a total of five world title fights. Uh, Ralph Dupa also made one title defense. And against rated fighters, he was very busy, okay? Very busy resume fighting lots of rated opposition and top rated opposition ralph dupas okay had 47 fights against top 10 rated fighters he had a total a large total of 33 fights against top three rated fighters and ralph dupas had five fights against ring champions now as a rated fighter ralph dupas was top 10 rated for over a decade at 11 years he was top three rated for six years and he was a ring champion for zero years and against pound pound rated fighters ralph dupas had 12 fights against pound pound rated fighters and in total he beat five individual pound pound rated fighters so ricardo lopez and ralph dupas okay we are two into this 10 more videos will come later today, quite a few more, um, hopefully. So, meanwhile, let us go back to this video, okay, and jump to fighter number 198, okay, to former welterweight and then light heavyweight and had a busy career, um, Pete Lasso. Pete Lasso, okay, beat three world champions in his career. Pete Lasso also had a total of 12 fights against world champions. And in terms of world title fights, okay, Pete Lasso had five world title fights. He made a total of two title defences. And against rated fighters, he also has a stack list, okay. Pete Lasso had over the half centuries, joins that club of over half century, um, with 54 fights against top 10 rated fighters. Uh, Pete Lasso had 20 fights against top three rated fighters and he did have eight fights against ring champions now Pete Lasso was top 10 rated for a total of five years he was top three rated for one year and Pete Lasso was a ring champion for one year and against pound pound rated fighters okay Pete Lasso comes in with a total of 15 fights against pound pound rated fighters overall um, and in terms of individual pound pound rated fighters beaten um, Pete Lasso beat a total of five individual pound pound rated fighters so we have had Ricardo Lopez, Ralph Dupas and Pete Lasso. Now we go to one of the last few of the currently active fighters, okay? Now this guy has been a multiweight champion. He's still active, albeit old, but still active and still winning things. It is the fantastic Nanito Donaire. Nanito Donaire, okay, has beaten 13 world champions in his staggering career. He's also had a total of 19 fights against world champions overall. And Nanito Donaire has a large and decorated title fight history, including lineal titles, multi-time unified champion, multiweight champion, 
Ridiculous. He had a total of 20 world title fights. Nanito Donem jumping around the waist more than staying static in the division. Still made nine title defences. And against rated fighters, Nanito Donem has had 22 fights against top 10 rated fighters. He also has a total of 17 fights against top 3 rated fighters. And Nanito Donem has had two fights against ring champions. Now, Nanito Donaire was top 10 rated for 13 years. He was top 3 rated for 7 years. And Donaire has been a ring champion in his career for 2 years. And against pound for pound rated fighters, Nanito Donaire has 6 fights in total. And he has beaten, so far, 3 individual pound for pound rated fighters. Nanito Donaire is one of those current active fighters who, when he retires, he will get a full blue screen. And will go through his whole career and his entire stat list um, when he retires. So, leaving Donair there on 197, let's go to another fantastic lowerweight champion in 196. It is the fantastic Hilario Zapata. Hilario Zapata beat 10 individual world champions in his career. Very underrated lowerweight champion right in front of you here. Zapata beat 10 world champions. He had a total of 19 fights against world champions overall and Hilario Zapata also like uh, El Finito and Donaire has a massive world title fight record coming in with 24 world title fights Hilario Zapata also made 15 title defenses fantastic numbers Hilario Zapata had 22 fights against top 10 rated fighters he had a total of 7 fights against top 3 rated fighters and Hilario Zapata had 0 fights against ring champions now as a rated fighter Hilario Zapata was top 10 rated for seven years he was top three rated for four years and Zapata was a ring champion for zero years and against pound for pound rated fighters Hilario Zapata had four fights against pound for pound rated fighters and Hilario Zapata beat one pound for pound rated fighter so Hilario Zapata comes in number 196. Okay, we've had three fantastic lowerweight champions. Then with Lazo and Dupar. We are staying in the lowerweights, but going up a little bit from Hilario Zapata um, to a highly, highly rated uh, European bomb fighter. Okay, in my list to Charles Ledo. Um, Charles Ledo beat four world champions in his career. Charles Ledo had a total of 15 fights against world champions and he comes in with a total of 175 rounds for against champions. Now Charles Ledo, okay, beat three Hall of Fame fighters. He had a total of 10 fights against Hall of Famers overall and Charles Ledo fought 106 rounds against Hall of Fame fighters. Now, there was a bit of a mix-up. Uh, I investigated it a number of years ago when someone asked me about it, saying, no, Charles Ledeau was a champion. He actually held the European world title. Uh, many press in Europe criticised him at times, saying, well, now he's got this title, he has to fight for the world title in America. Yeah, yeah, get me? So Charles Ledeau had zero world title fights, zero title defences and zero title fight rounds. He had 16 fights overall, a number that would be way higher against Raid Fighters, Champions or Hall of Famers. And Charles Ledeau had three fights against Pound for Pound Raid Fighters and individually he beat one Pound for Pound Raid Fighter. So Charles Ledeau comes in number 195. Okay, so let us jump on to the fighter in number 194. Now, that fighter is a member of the US Olympic team of the 80s um, and former long-reigning light of weight champion Virgil Quicksilver Hill. Virgil Hill beat nine world champions in his career. He had a total of 17 fights against world champions overall. But Virgil Hill was a multiple-time champion in two divisions, okay? Cruiserweight, where he twice captured a strap but didn't defend it, and then light heavyweight. And he has a staggering world title fight record of 29 world title fights. He was light heavyweight champion in two reigns for nearly nine years. Uh, Virgil Hill made a staggering 20 title defences. Against rated fighters, Virgil Hill, though, unlike Michael Zuski, um, has a lot of rated opposition, coming in with 28 fights against top 10 rated fighters. He also had 15 fights against top three rated fighters and four fights against ring champions Virgil Hill was top 10 rated for a massive 17 years he was top three rated for 13 years and he was a ring champion for zero years and Virgil Hill okay had three fights against uh, pound for pound rated fighters but he beat no pound for pound rated fighters individually but 29 world title fights 20 defenses a champion nearly nine years top 10 rated 17 years top three rated 13 years Underrated fighter Virgil Hill. 
So, fighter number 193, another former light heavyweight champion and an explosive puncher who travelled from flyweight and fought all the way to heavyweight. It's the explosive punching Georges Carpentier. Georges Carpentier beat three world champions in his career. He had a total of 11 fights against world champions overall and Carpentier coming with a total of 117 rounds for against champions. Now, Carpentier beat four individual Hall of Fame fighters in his career. Um, he had a total of 12 fights against Hall of Famers overall and Georges Carpentier fought 156 rounds against Hall of Fame fighters. Now in world title fights, Georges Carpentier had four world title fights. He made one title defence and Carpentier fought a total of 15 title fight rounds and against rated fighters champions or hall of famers George Carpentier coming with a lower total of 14 due to most of his career being before the ratings um, he also had a total of 13 fights against pound for pound rated fighters George Carpentier and in terms of individual pound for pound rated fighters being George Carpentier beat five overall so I'll have a quick drink before the last two fighters This next fighter has a criminally underrated resume. Fighter number 192 is Sammy Fuller. Sammy Fuller beat four world champions in his career. Uh, Sammy Fuller had a total of eight fights against world champions overall. And Sammy Fuller comes in with a total of two world title fights. Uh, Fuller made zero title defences. But he has a stacked resume in rated fighters. Sammy Fuller comes in with 42 fights against top 10 rated fighters. He also had a massive total of 32 fights um, against top 3 rated fighters. Uh, and Sammy Fuller also had 8 fights against ring champions. Now, as a rated fighter, Sammy Fuller was top 10 rated for 4 years. He was top 3 rated for 2 years. And Sammy Fuller was a ring champion for zero years. And against Pound for Pound, as he comes in with a very large total of 19 fights against Pound for Pound rated fighters, Sammy Fuller. And individually, he also be eight pound for pound rated fighters. So Sammy Fuller fought many great fighters of his era, has a very busy resume, scored many good wins himself. Very, very underrated resume, Sammy Fuller. Check out his resume. You'll be very surprised by the quality of opposition this guy fought. So, let's go to fighter number 191 to one of Puerto Rico's finest, okay? It is the three-weight champion, Wilfred Benitez. Wilfred Benitez beat six individual world champions in his career. Uh, Benitez had 11 fights against world champions overall. And Wilfred Benitez had a total of 10 world title fights. Benitez made five title defences. And against rated fighters, Wilfred Benitez comes in with 20 fights against top 10 rated opposition. Benitez also had 11 fights against top 3 rated fighters and Wilfred Benitez had 5 fights against ring champions. Now as a rated fighter, Wilfred Benitez was top 10 rated for 9 years, he was top 3 rated for 8 years and he was a ring champion for 3 years. And Wilfred Benitez had a total of 5 fights against pound for pound rated fighters and Wilfred Benitez beat 3 pound for pound rated fighters overall. So Wilfred Benitez is in position 191, okay? He is the final fighter on this video. The first video of what is going to be a massive weekend, okay? Another one of these will come this afternoon. Another two or three of these will come tonight. Then in tomorrow, okay, we're starting off again, okay? More videos coming. Then into Sunday, more videos as I look to try and break into that top 100. But there's my first of many videos today. I'm out for now.